Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, before we look at the figure itself, we're going to take 10, maybe 20 minutes to look at this box from the angle it's put. And yeah, we got Legacy Philosotron 500 Scourge. And the reason I bought this, because this is based on the 2001 Scourge. And I love this figure so much, is why I picked him up. So let's get on to looking at the box itself. This is made from, made by Chikara Tomy. Well, Chikara is on the box. Legacy Philosotron 500 collection we got scourge in his robot mode showing off his missile shoulders being like eat missiles autobots and with his trailer robots in disguise 2000s universe scourge and yes this is based on 2001 scourge which i do not own the reason i bought this repaint was because I like this figure so much, I had to have it. <laughs> but here we got him with his Sword of Fury. And his Axe of Fury. A nice product shot of Scourge's Battle Station mode. And that's all there is to say. For the packaging. Wondering, does this figure roll? Yes, it does, and very well, I'll tell you that much. Like, ha ha ha, Optimus Prime, prepare to meet your doom. The Scourge is coming for you. And yeah, a good looking vehicle mode. It rolls very well. But now for comparison, here is another Velocitron 500 figure. Override from Transformers Cybertron. Robots in Disguise Legends Class. Spy Changer. Then the rest of the comparisons will be in robot mode. So let's get down to transforming this toy. Flip up the feet. Okay. Fold these upwards. Fold this upwards. There's half the body all done. Flip out his robot mode head. Well, I just pop this piece loose, which comes really loose on my copy. Free up this piece right here. Liberate his Sword of Fury. And now we're going to flip loose his arms like so. And there we got the arms nearly done. We're going to flip these panels in, like so. They go in right there. Second burst, just like the first. Then you're going to rotate the arms, like so. Flip down the hands, like so, if I can get them to work properly. Might have to use his sword. I'm up. A... 
Want to be stubborn today, huh? There we got a hand all done. A lot of fussing with these hands, I'll tell you that much. There you got Scourge's first arm done. And there we got one arm all done. And now we flip up Scourge's head, which pegs in right there. Flip down his shoulder pad. Insignias. Reminiscent to the Robots in Disguise show, which is nice. Shame they're backwards looking, but otherwise pretty good. And then this backpack section folds up like so. Split his legs, and there we got Scourge in his robot mode. And now we're going to give him his Sword of Fury, and now he's ready to take on Optimus Prime. Is this a good-looking figure? I'd say yes. He's really well sculpted, really well painted, and articulated. I love this figure. And it's better than the original 2001 figure, by my opinion which I do not own. If I did, I would compare this to it. But otherwise, it's the best representation of Scourge. You open his chest up here. He does have a matrix. Yeah, we're going to call it the Scorn Matrix. But yeah, it's cool that they're including matrixes with these toys. But now for comparison... Here we got Legacy Philosophatron 500 Scourge next to Crasher. She's a female Decepticon. And we'll transform Override for comparisons next to Scourge. I got these transformations memorized. I'm just that good with transforming toys. And then we'll get Overrider Blaster, and then we'll do a comparison with Scourge. Do I have plans to get the other Legacy Philosophron figures? There's only two more I might have interest in. Legacy Philosophron 500 Cosmos and Blur. Other than that, the other figures just don't interest me much. But here we got Legacy Philosophron 500 Scourge next to override because they're in the same line together leader 2001 ultra magnus which i found this at the thrift store why not dare i say why not and of course a spy changer and it's smaller than scourge but before we end this video, bring it down to doing the trailer. How oh, we're supposed to uh, split this thing in half. Deform the mounted gun. Start with that. And I just dropped his axe of fury. Where his additional gun is.
wondering, can he hold this gun of his? We'll uh, find out how to use it in a second. But he does have a gun. So he has a gun to go pew pew, bang bang, with his own blaster. That is just cool. Even by my standards, he has a blaster. But I'll look to see if that's the right thing, first and foremost, on the box. But it does double up as a turret, too with some creativity. You can put it right here, and now it's a turret and repair bay for Scourge. Oh man, that's cool. So Scourge can begin some repairs. They're like, hurry up, you lazy drone. I need repairs this instant. And we are gonna show him off with his other Weapon before we end this video. Yeah. So we're going to get him back on his feet, give him his energy axe. And you're like, ha ha! Looks like the odds are in my favor, Optimus Prime. And yes, these shoulder pads open, so you'll be like, eat missiles, Autobots! And yeah, this is a good figure if you love the legacy. Love the uh, 2001 Robots in Disguise and never had the legacy Robots in Disguise one. Or you had the 2001 original. I highly recommend you pick this figure up. It is awesome. The base mode is awesome. The figure itself is well painted, well sculpted. And if you love 2001 Scourge... Like I did, this is a must-have. Right now, this figure is selling on Amazon for about 32 bucks. They used to have these at Ross, but they're probably cleaned out by now. But otherwise, a good-looking figure. Highly recommend you pick this guy up. He is just that awesome. Before I end this video, we're going to say, if you like this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and you haven't subscribed to Eddie Hill's reviews, I'd say subscribe because I appreciate your support on my channel. And I thank all of you helping me getting up to 30, 733 subscribers. And I'd appreciate it if all of you subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.